Hey everybody, today I want to talk about why and how I moved all my posts from Medium to Gatsby so that you could do the same in less time. I remember writing my first Medium story back in the summer of 2017. At the moment I was trying to add authorization to the ASP.NET backend and I was completely frustrated with complicated tutorials online. After I finished the task, I decided to write a short article on Medium explaining a simpler implementation for this problem. And at the moment I wasn't even thinking about creating my own website because usually I found an interest in programming articles on Medium. I continued working at my job, studying at university and doing my side project, the number of stories grew. And at some point I decided that's the time to move everything to my own website because of several reasons. At one moment Medium introduced a program that allows writers to make money from their posts. So to get royalties, you will ask Medium to review your post and once it approved, it will be promoted and only subscribers could see it. So if somebody finds your article online, there is high probability they won't be able to see it. But at least you are making money from it, right? I also thought so and I went to the settings to enable this program and start making money from my posts, but there I found out that it's only available in countries that support Stripe. At the moment it were not that many countries, you could use it in USA and in West European countries. But in Belarus, I couldn't use it. There's no way for me to use Stripe in Eastern Europe. So it didn't work out for me. Most of my posts are not standalone, but part of some series. For example, if I have an article about vectors, it will be a part of series called Linear Algebra with JavaScript. And in order to implement this, type of content, I will have one post only with links to every part and in the part of the series I will have the link to uh, index and also link to the previous and to the next story. It just doesn't look that good and it is hard to maintain. Same time as I was writing stories on Medium, I was developing a productivity app called Increaser. At the end of every story, I included a short sentence about the app, a link to it, and also a GIF showing uh, the app. The problem was that I needed to update it quite a lot. So if I change the link to the app, I will need to go through every post manually and update it. It takes quite a lot of time you could spend two hours to update every story and the last time I needed to do this I implemented um, an automation with Puppeteer that opens uh, Chrome browser, goes to Medium page, goes to the statistics page and then uh, iterates through every post, finds this GIF and updates it. I spent like two days implementing this, it doesn't worth it and it was the final reason to decide it is time to make my own websites. I had not only programming product and productivity posts, but I also had book summaries. And I didn't want to include book summaries in the blog section of my website. I thought it would be better to have a dedicated site for book summaries and dedicated blog for other type of content. So I ended up with two Gatsby websites for different types of content. Medium, I have one post that lists all book summaries. So you can see there is like a little bit of text and then there are links to books. And if we follow one of the slings, we could see that it is image of book and then it's text, maybe some images. And at the end of every blog post, 
there is also promotion to increase or up. And every pause has the same shape. So the task is to convert this format of data into Gatsby. And the end result looks like this. It's pretty similar. We have the same books with the same order with a little bit more information and a better looking form. And if we go to this book, we can see that it looks the same. But at the end, I have uh, a much nicer promotion to increase it up. So the same content looks much better and on your own website. Now let me show you the code. All pros could be described with one SH file. In the first step, we unzip or hive with all medium posts. To get it, you could go to medium.com slash me slash export. We have two more steps. The first one is to remove all the posts that are not summaries and also process HTML to remove tags that we don't want to have in our final markdown. And the last step will take HTML and produce Gatsby ready markdown. To do this, we will use a library. In filter post function, we take the main post that has links to all other summaries and we convert it into JSON file that has the same shape as medium post. As you can see, it has the same order. So once we have this JSON file, we go over each story and prepare HTML. So here we remove uh, tags that will cause problems on the later step. So once we have done it, we execute the last step. In order to do this, we using medium to Gatsby library. Uh, you can find description on GitHub and it's relatively popular, there's 82 stars and it does the work, it converts HTML to Markdown. We could also specify a template to generate proper meta description for the post and we could take a look. There's nothing fancy here. We add title, keywords, the main image and also minutes. And that's pretty much it. Once we have this JSON file, and all the pause that has this form. So we have markdown and images. Here's a page that represents this one. To render all these book cards, we are querying for markdown and order them according to what we have in the index.json. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So in order to move all medium posts to Gatsby, we wrote one simple function that prepares HTML and then we using libraries that does all the work. Now let's take a look at geekredzone.com. I decided not to do automation for my blog because a lot of stories are not standalone and part of some series. And in order to automate this part, it will take too much time. So I decided to use this medium exporter CLI that you can run in order to receive a markdown of medium post. And then I will do the rest manually. So right now the block looks like this. We can see that there are some posts that are standalone, but there are also quite a few series. An example of how the story could look on my own website. It has eight parts and linked to resources that user most probably will need. And this is how it looked on Medium. There's table of contents, there's promotion, but I will need to enter this part in every post to have link to GitHub and to the demo. And in every part, I will also need to have a link to the next part. And as you can see, it's pretty hard to maintain. So here is much easier because table of content generated automatically and 
link to the next part also generated automatically and it's easy to maintain the stuff it's easy to add some promotion and easy to make it look the way you want it to look you have two version of the same content on two different website it's crucial to have canonical link otherwise google will penalize your website as it will treat it as a copy of somebody else's content so in order to fix this issue you could use goods gatsby plugin canonical urls and you simply add this configuration to gatsby config and it will generate a, an appropriate canonical link so um, if you take a look at this post we could uh, inspect it and in the head we could find canonical and it has the same URL as we could see here and we will need to copy this URL and enter it into appropriate medium site it's uh, hidden behind story settings you can go to advanced settings and then enter it here it's really important to do otherwise nobody will find your website hope you found this video valuable and of course i didn't cover everything yet there is a github repository that you could go to and find logics that you could reuse in your own website take care